Hey insiders, welcome to Creator Insider. My name is Abhinav. I'm a program manager at YouTube and this is your weekly news flash. Let's get started with the updates for this week. The very first update is about Shorts bulk opt-out in YouTube Studio. Creators are now able to opt their videos out of being sampled for Shorts in bulk through YouTube Studio. The steps are pretty simple. Creators just need to go to YouTube Studio, select the content, select the videos they would like to opt out, click on edit, hit shots sampling and just choose don't allow sampling. Any derivative shots that have sampled audio from your videos will be muted and scheduled for deletion in 30 days. By the way, you can always toggle the opt out setting back to allow sampling this content. Next up is the shots analytics in the YouTube main app. We are running a small experiment to bring shots analytics to the YouTube main app. This gives creators the basic performance metrics in the YouTube main app with a link to the studio where they can go and view the more detailed metrics around their videos. So last week there were some questions around easier copyright protection and we wanted to follow up on some commonly asked questions in this space and there were a handful of questions about personal information while issuing a takedown and we wanted to just follow up and clarify that providing contact information is a legal requirement in case of a takedown. It's not a decision that's made by YouTube. We'll also leave a link in the description below for you to read on how this contact info in case of a copyright takedown is really used. So do check it out. The next question we wanted to address comes from Scott Waldron asking if our matching system will flag uploads of unlisted video. And yes, your videos could be private or unlisted and our matching system will still try to find re-uploads of those videos. Our last question for this week comes from the Koei partner who asks, what if someone else re-uploaded my content and use this option? Will it remove my original videos? So we took this question to our team and they responded, no, this feature identifies re-uploads, that is videos that are uploaded after the original. Let us know if this was helpful and please feel free to leave more questions in the comments below. That is it for this week's news flash from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week.